Greetings, Preacher Rick with you, and wish you a happy Easter, a happy Resurrection Sunday, whatever uh, you want to call it. It's a wonderful day that God hath made to celebrate the risen Savior. Bless his loving and holy name. I'm so glad to be with you in your home or your car, wherever you might be. I'm glad to be with you live, and those of you that are listening later, so glad that you joined us and appreciate your continued prayers and support, uh, knowing that we need one another's prayers it means so very much to me. And your comments mean so much to me, as I shared the other day. It just means so much when you let me know how much the broadcast means to you. Second Corinthians, the fifth chapter and the 16th verse reads like this. Wherein, wherefore, henceforth, know we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now, henceforth, know we him no more. And, of course, you could relate that to him not being here on the earth with him anymore. But there's other ways you can relate it, too, because there's a reference to that verse. It goes back in St. John, the 6th chapter, and the 63rd verse. Let's read it. It's Jesus himself speaking. In a verse uh, 63 of chapter 6 of St. John, it says, It is the Spirit. This is the words are read. It is the spirit that quickeneth, that means brings to life. Uh, it is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing, Jesus told him. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Uh, so we see that even Jesus told him that the, the flesh profiteth nothing. And the verse we read to you first, uh, that's uh, I've read that a lot of times and I can relate also to knowing Christ uh, with a carnal mind. Uh, and what that means is with a worldly mind. Uh, the carnal nature that we have uh, is not uh, subject to the spiritual wisdom of the Bible. It can't be. Uh, carnality uh, is very selfish and self-centered and doesn't like to be commanded, doesn't like to be ordered around. Uh, the carnal nature likes to do its own thing. It's uh, all about me, myself, and I. Uh, so uh, Christ was saying that the flesh profiteth nothing. Uh, so we, uh, you know, we know Christ before we get saved. And uh, you could have asked me if I believed in Jesus, and I would say sure. Uh, but I had a head knowledge of him, not a heart knowledge. Uh, and once you have that heart knowledge, once you're born again, uh, you truly accept him as your personal savior. Uh, you see Christ in a whole different light. You see him from a spiritual realm instead of a carnal realm. Now, the carnal nature, uh, if we turn to the 8th chapter of Romans, it has a lot to say about uh, the carnal nature. It says in the 8th chapter, starting at the first verse, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Uh, you're not mindful anymore when you get saved uh, of the old man. You're mindful of the new man, which is led by the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit of God. And uh, we have the Spirit of God speaking to us through the words of God, uh, written and guiding us and comforting us in our uh, daily life. Uh, and it goes, it goes on to say, For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus have made me free from the law of sin and death. Thank God for that. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. And the flesh will uh, lead you down a road of temptation that will uh, swarm, uh, just swamp you, I should say, uh, with evil intentions and, and bad desires and things that will pull your soul into the pits of hell. But thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. In verse 4 it says that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us uh, who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Amen. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. And that's so true. And that's the carnal nature is talking about. But they that are after the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. For to be carnally minded is death. Now, that's serious stuff. Uh, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace, bless his loving and holy name. 
because the carnal mind is enmity against God. God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. It can't even be subject to the laws of God, the ways of God, the love of God. Amen. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. And just reading three more verses and we'll be done. Reading through verse 11. We're now on 9 of the 8th chapter of Romans. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you, now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwelleth in you. And boy, uh, now that's Easter uh, preaching right there. Uh, I'll read that verse one more time and you think about what it's saying to you. Uh, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus uh, uh, from the dead dwell in you, Thank God it says, He that raised up Christ from the dead uh, uh, shall also quicken your mortal bodies. Uh, uh, Glory to God, I feel preaching coming on uh, by His Spirit that dwelleth in you. Uh, I say, bless God forever. The Bible teaches uh, we'll have a new body like unto His. Uh, uh, Why? Because we're not living uh, uh, for the carnal nature. Uh, And that's why Paul said he had to die daily. Uh, uh, He had to crucify the flesh uh, and the effect thereof. Uh, uh, the Bible tells you where to put your affections. Uh, the Bible says keep your mind and your affections on the things above, uh, uh, thank God. Uh, and if we put our mind on heaven and on the ways that Christ has taught us uh, and the things that be of God, uh, uh, thank God we'll be spiritual minded. Uh, uh, we'll be walking in the Spirit, talking in the Spirit, uh, uh, being Christians, thank God, that overcome evil with good, uh, that doesn't let uh, the lust of the flesh uh, uh, conquer uh, and win daily uh, and and lead us down the path of destruction, uh, but rather we trust God uh, through his sweet Holy Spirit uh, to lead us unto all truth. Uh, uh, Thank God that we might overcome uh, all the temptations and the sorrows and the grief uh, that sin brings into our lives. Uh, uh, Thank God. Oh, death, where is thy sting? Uh, Oh, grave, where is thy victory? It's been swaddled up. Christ conquered it. Uh, that's why the old song Amazing Grace is so sweet to sound. Uh, thank God of it. And that's why we can sing it so often uh, uh, because we're not uh, uh, living for the flesh. We're living for the Spirit. Uh, thank God. And we don't know Christ uh, uh, in the flesh now. We know Him in the Spirit. Uh, uh, thank God. He said uh, the, the flesh uh, uh, it amounts to nothing. It doesn't. Uh, uh, the, the flesh is not subject to the laws of God, uh, and neither indeed can be, uh, but when we have the Holy Spirit of Christ dwelling in us, uh, thank God and guiding us unto all truth, uh, uh, He will lead us in the pathways of righteousness uh, for His name's sake, uh, and we will be able, thank God, uh, uh, to make it through. Uh, uh, the, it will be able to endure hardness. Uh, we'll be able, uh, uh, thank God, to rejoice evermore. Uh, we'll be able, uh, uh, thank God, to do things we knew, never dreamed we could do. Uh, uh, Paul said, I can do all things uh, through Christ which strengtheneth me. Uh, thank God. When you have uh, uh, the Holy Spirit of Christ uh, uh, dwelling in your heart and leading you along, uh, uh, God leads. There's an old song, God leads his dear children along. Uh, and I'm so glad I can testify uh, that that's so true in my life. Uh, he's always a present help uh, in a time of need. Uh, his name name is Jesus, uh, Emmanuel, uh, which being interpreted as God with us. Uh, thank God. And he said, I'll never leave you. Uh, I'll never forsake you. Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. And we have that blessed assurance and that hope. Uh, we have that promise to hold on to, uh, to grab a hold of. God cannot lie. Uh, it's impossible for God to lie. Uh, he will keep his word. Uh, he will keep his promises. Uh, there's another old song, Standing on the Promises uh, of Christ my Lord. Uh, thank God. Uh, uh, 
through eternal ages, uh, and no matter how many years go by, uh, uh, we can stand on the promises of God uh, and know that it's going to come to pass uh, just as sure as Christ spoke it, uh, just as sure as the Bible, it's written in it uh, between those blessed pages. Uh, thank God for Jesus. Uh, thank God for the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Uh, thank God for his goodness that led us to repentance. Uh, thank God for his saving grace. Thank God uh, that he's going to resurrect us like he did Christ. Uh, and we'll close in reading that verse again. Uh, we're in the 8th chapter of Romans, uh, and we got down to verse 11. That was our last reading. Uh, and as we got to verse 11, it's just such a wonderful uh, a verse for us to, uh, to uh, grab a hold of on this Easter Sunday. Uh, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal body. Bless God forever by his spirit that dwelleth in you. Oh, what a day that shall be when the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be called up to meet them in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Uh, whoa, what a moment that will be. In the twinkling of an eye will be changed uh, and have a new body like unto his glorified body. Uh, I say praise Jesus. Uh, thank God for Jesus. Uh, thank God for Resurrection Sunday. Uh, thank God up from the grave he arose uh, with a mighty triumph o'er his foes. Uh, he arose the victor from the dark domain. Uh, now he lives forever with his saints to reign. Uh, hallelujah, Christ uh, arose, and we will too. Uh, bless his loving and holy name. Uh, woo! Glory to God for saving our souls. We love y'all. This is Preacher Rick. Until the next time. God bless you.